a little girl came running into the house, bawling her eyes out and cradling her hands. Mommy, quick, get me a glass of cider, she wailed. Why do you want a glass of cider, asked her mom. I cut my hand on a thorn and I want the pain to go away. Confused but weary of the child's whining, the mother obliged and poured her a glass of cider. The little girl immediately dumped her hand in it. Ouch, it still hurts. This cider doesn't work, she whined. What are you talking about, asked mom. What made you think that cider would ease the pain? Well, I overheard my big sister that whenever she gets a prick in her hand, she can't wait to get it in cider. <laughs> Man walks into a pharmacy, buys a con, then walks out of the store laughing hysterically. The pharmacist thinks this is weird, but there are no laws preventing weird people from buying con. Who knows, maybe it's a good thing. The next day the same man comes back to the store, purchases yet another con, and once again he leaves the store laughing wildly. This piques the interest of the pharmacist. What could be so funny after buying a con anyway? So he tells his clerk if that guy ever comes back, I want you to follow him to see where he goes. Sure enough, the next day the same man is back. He buys the thing and again starts cracking up with laughter, then leaves. The pharmacist tells his clerk to go follow the guy. About an hour later the clerk comes back to the store. Did you follow him? Where did he go? Asks the pharmacist. The clerk replies, your house. Man went into a tattoo parlor and asked to have a $50 bill tattooed on his The tattoo artist said, I've had some strange requests, but this one tops the lot. Why in the hell would you want me to tattoo your prick with a picture of a banknote? The man replied, there are three reasons. One, I love to play with my money. Two, when I play with my money, I love to see it grow. Three, and this is the most important of all, the next time my wife wants to blow 50 bucks, she won't have to leave the house. <laughs> Five-year-old man went to his doctor's office to get a sperm count. The doctor gave the man a jar and said, Take this jar home and bring me back a sample tomorrow. The next day the 75 year old man reappeared at the doctor's office and gave him the jar, which was as clean and empty as on the previous day. The doctor asked what had happened and the man explained, well doc, it's like this. First I tried with my right hand but nothing happened. Then I tried with my left hand but still got nothing. Then I asked my wife for help. She tried with her right hand but nothing happened. Then she tried with her left but still nothing happened. She even tried with her mouth. First with the teeth in, then with the teeth out. And still nothing happened. We even called up the lady next door and she tried with both hands. And her mouth too. But there was nothing doing. The doctor was shocked. You asked your neighbor? The old man replied, yeah. But no matter what we tried, we couldn't get the stupid jar open. <laughs>